Almost one year ago, I said this. I will be attempting to build a new jet sprint boat with 4G acceleration. This means that the force pushing the boat forwards needs to be four times higher than gravity. My MJ35 produces 7.4 kg of thrust. In order to reach 4G acceleration with this pump, the weight of the boat needs to be under 1850 grams. I designed a nice jet sprint boat. I could just 3D print the hull, but then it would be really difficult to achieve durability and such low weight at the same time. Therefore, in this video, I will be building the hull from carbon fiber. This is a 3D printed PETG mold, which I sanded and painted, which by the way was a mistake, you will see why. I will show you the whole process in case you want to build this hull for yourself. At first I am applying release wax to make sure the hull doesn't stick to the mold. This is the top half of the mold. Both halves are assembled using threaded rods. Now I am applying the PVA release agent. This has the same purpose as the wax. I will be using 160 gram twill carbon fiber fabric. I am using a 90 minute epoxy resin and I will only be doing one mold at a time. I chose to first apply the epoxy resin and then the carbon fiber. The finish might have come out better if I did this the opposite way. For this I find the best method to work from the center. I am adding one extra piece of carbon fiber to the stern, because that's where the pump will push the hardest. Now I will add two more pieces to the sides of the hull with an overlap in the middle, creating three layers. Now it is important to not repeat my old mistake and not add any excess resin which might be left over in the can. This would be just completely pointless weight driving around with your lightweight boat. I am repeating the same process for the top part. The critical area of the top part is the windshield, because there are many corners which we need to fill.
Here I made a little mistake. I chose a too small piece of carbon fiber, which later created the necessity to add even more small pieces. Now I'm using a little wood plank to laminate a carbon fiber plate, which I will later use to create the flat chamber wall, which will be needed for self-writing. Now that the process is finished, it is a good idea to wait until the resin is half cured. We can use this moment to comfortably cut the excess with a knife. By doing this I am saving myself a lot of work and dust, because otherwise I would have to cut this with a Dremel. After the resin is cured, I can finally release the hull from the mold. If everything is done correctly, it should be really easy and the hull should just pop out. Unfortunately, I realized I would not be able to take the hull out that easily. So I decided to disassemble the mold. Uh. This was a really bad surprise for me, because somehow the paint got stuck on the hull. I am not completely sure what went wrong with the process, but probably I should have applied more wax. At least I was able to get the hull out. This is completely usable. I just need to repair it and send it a lot. With the top part the release was easier, but there was still a lot of paint left on the hull. So I removed the paint from the hull, I sanded the hull and I covered the hull with new epoxy. And after some more work, I finally got a nice result. The finish is far from perfect. This is caused probably by my bad mold preparation, but overall, given that this is my second ever carbon fiber build, I am pretty happy with the result. And probably the best thing is, these two halves together only weigh under 250 grams, which makes my goal possible. My next step will be to 3D print the cover lid assembly and test if it doesn't leak. Then I can glue it onto the top part of the hull, then install the flood chamber wall and glue the halves together and the hull will be pretty much finished. But this is for another video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.